This is my grandmother's recipe from the village in Greece. For me, bread making tells the story of family. It tells the story of love. There's a romance with it as well. My name is Tassos, and I'm known as Houston's Bread Man. My parents immigrated here from Greece, and out of necessity, my parents had to make bread at home. So when I was 10 years old, I was attached to my mother in the kitchen. I loved the idea of being in there with my hands in the dough, helping my mom, shaping doughs, knowing that I contributed to the family meal. And we did it religiously every week. In the summers, when it was affordable, we would fly back and spend our summers in Greece visiting my grandparents, just like my mom and I did. Yeah, yeah, and I, of course, made bread every week in the kitchen uh, at our house in Greece. This is the first bread I learned how to make when I was 10. My wife and I were having a conversation in our kitchen, and she randomly throws out, you know, we haven't had really good bread since my dad passed away. And I said, you know, I know how to make bread. She immediately responded with, so I've been married to you for almost eight years, and I didn't know this about you. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our water. So I started replicating my mother's and my grandmother's recipes out of my home kitchen. So this is where it gets messy and fun for me. My son's preschool teacher, she started immediately asking me to purchase bread. So she was technically my very first customer and she was gifting them to other teachers at the school and other neighbors. And then from there, they all started contacting me directly. And there it goes all in. So I quickly would tell my children, guys, don't touch daddy's bread. This is not for us. And immediately my oldest, her name is Alexandra, uh, who was six at the time, um, responded with, oh, so you're a bread man baking company. And when I heard it, I thought, that's a really good name. Yeah, yeah, I always put in some really good Greek olive oils. And now she's proud to say that I named daddy's business. I literally hit the streets with bread in hand and knocking on the back of, of kitchen doors at restaurants. There you go. This is my grandmother's recipe from Greece. So I think you'll love these today. We are in about 43 restaurants and hotels across the city. Revival's always been big on sourcing products that are of the highest quality, and that's something that we get from Breadman. And you're gonna end up with this big shaggy mess. It's a very tedious process. It's a process that commands respect and you have to respect it because it is temperamental. It's a living, breathing product that you're producing. And in some days it loves you and some days it doesn't. And you have to know how to tame it. You have to know how to respond to it. The weather impacts the bread. Uh, the temperature of the water impacts the bread. And so for me, it's very important that I inspect every loaf that leaves that morning that goes out. And so I'm here early in the morning and I'm making sure that everything looks the part, tastes the part. This is not burnt bread. This is caramelized sugars, the natural sugars in the bread itself in the yeast. So you've got to give it its respect. You've got to let it rest. You've got to let it sit and just enjoy itself for the moment. So when you score it, you're, you're literally telling the dough, I want you to go here. I don't want you to burst out the sides or out of the bottom. I want you to spring evenly and beautiful and create this really beautiful bread. We'll like to dust the bulls with a little flour to give it a little rustic look. I was not very happy working in my corporate career and then bread found me. And now I've never been happier. I get to share my breads with the entire city of Houston. Wow, oh, look at these. Isn't these beautiful? Bread is community. I've seen people come together here over our breads. I mean, and it's meant to be broken. I don't even believe in bread knives, frankly. I think you should just rip into it and enjoy it for what it is.